All right, episode 20-something of the Sab Powers podcast. The genius himself, Joel Van Vliet. Vliet? I don't know, I'm so dumb, bro, I'm sorry. Joel Van Vliet, thank you, Sab. Powers? Powers. What is is Powers? Is that a, uh, is that from, is a Polish name? Is it Lithuanian? Where does that come from? Uh, it actually comes, so, like, when I went to college, uh, I was, like, I don't know, I would wear sunglasses, because, um, like, I didn't really know anybody, and, then, like, I was just, like, smoking weed. I didn't want anyone to know I was high. And this one guy started calling me Powers from, like, Kenny Powers, like, eastbound and down, I guess. Whoa. so that's not even your real... <laughs> that's not even from your her- real heritage? heritage? No, yeah, that... My name's Sebastian Prentice is my government name. What? Where does yeah. Prentice come from? Is that like Lithuanian or, <laughs> or something like that? I actually don't know. I think it's like, well, like, I know I'm like Scottish and stuff on that, sounds that like side. A word. Yeah. So go back to these sunglasses. So sunglasses are usually worn to avoid getting your eyes all with the sun like you right you the squinting you know it, it, it makes a, it a little bit more easier to see things without a, a lot of light too much light shining in your face but you're using them to hide your identity and hide your uh avid pot habit <laughs> yeah i don't know if i was trying to hide my identity you could still see who i was but yeah like, i don't I didn't know. know anyone i was kind of shy so it's yeah. just like I'm going to hide behind some sunglasses. Yeah, I think I use that as like a defense mechanism or something to like, you know, fend off the world. They should, they should bring that to the <laughs> army because I don't know if they are issuing enough sunglasses as a defense mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a lot of lives saved if the, only they wore more sunglasses. Um, you never know. That might be true, actually, you know, in a way. Is- this is a very interesting <laughs> point. Um, nothing that what you've said, but um, <laughs> no. Did you know that the army? There was a uh, a new thing posted that the army in America won't be allowing people that have had COVID to be in the army. Is that true? Well, that's a, that's something that may come to pass. I think it's just like an idea that. But the Pentagon has confirmed that 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 was a memo that they sent around. So, like. That not that a little bit crazy? Because everyone's going to get COVID. So then no more army then. <laughs> you know? No more wars. So That's the only perfect. way we can defend ourselves is by wearing sunglasses. And it's <laughs> very important that in the future we all have sunglasses because, you know, when the guerrilla warriors come, because, like, of course, the guerrilla guys, they're not going to be like, oh, no, no COVID people. They'll take anyone. You know, it's only America that's not going to have an army, you know? That's a good point. I think they'll probably change that then. Maybe they mean no one currently infected with it. Maybe you misunderstood. I don't know. Well, maybe, but I think it was that anyone that's had it will not be allowed to join the army, which is insane because Mm -hmm. there's supposed to be millions of people that will have had it. Who really wants to join the army anyways, you know? A lot of people just do it because they want some money. Yeah, like, I'd go, if, if it was one of those, like, what, you know, those days when they forced you to join the army, like, I would go, I would go get COVID. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> like, sorry, I just went and got some COVID, so I guess no army for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, uh, tell everyone where they can find your shit. I like trying to do it close to the beginning when people are still watching, hopefully. Um, uh, you can find stuff. my shit in my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, it just came to me. Um, that was genius. So you were talking yeah, about people. <laughs> uh, J-O-E-L-V-A-N-D-L-I-E-T. Oh, it actually, show, I wonder if that'll yeah. show up. On It'll the, show, I think. I'm pretty sure it shows. But they search my you name on podcast. YouTube's, like, jo- YouTube.com slash Joel Van Vliet, Facebook.com slash Joel Van Vliet, Instagram.com slash Joel Van Vliet. <laughs> I like Instagram. I think I use Instagram more than anything. Um, I have a podcast I do and I don't show. We solve everyone's relationship, marriage, and sex issues. Um, everyone's. 
And then the most important thing, Sab, and I think you know what I'm thinking, um, it is the project that's going on, and I'm sorry I'm getting serious for a moment, but it's the project that I'm working on right now uh, for COVID relief, COVID comic relief, and that is Snackable Comedy Bites. And it's dear to my heart because every, and I don't want to cry, <laughs> but every day, every day I, will, I have been posting a Snackable Comedy Bite to bring a little bit of levity and a little bit of joy to the hearts and minds of people in the world. And I've posted, well, what, like 53, because it's been like 53 days of uh, isolation now. It was mm -hmm. since, uh, what was the, March 16th was the first one. So oh, wow. there's a lot up there. But uh, you'll, you'll testify to them being probably some of the smartest comedy you've ever heard. Genius. In their way, in own way, they are so smart, bro. Okay. And yeah. I am actually I'd being sincere. <laughs> I'd say that they're brilliant in every way, but in their own way. So you'd like, okay. All right, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, so check that out. And, uh, <clears throat> and then maybe in the future when we're allowed to leave the house, I might have a snackable comedy night. Yes, yeah. that'd be sick, bro. Comedy Bites Live. Yo, can I write some more snackable comedy bites like the one I did? <laughs> so, Sab, uh, for people that don't know this, Sab did a, a pretty terrible snackable comedy bite. Um, because I think you think that I can, like, I just, um, people should check them out. They, they are a little bit hacky. But they are, um, they're, they're, you know what I just did in my mind? What? I, I, like, I, like, um auto-corrected myself because i i know that hacky isn't a word <laughs> it's so not it, it sounded good it, it sounded, sounded like a word, word but yeah. it, it, it's red underlined and you you'll the iphone or whatever will try to correct it so if you say hacky it'll it'll want to just be hack what and if I, you're talking about hacky sack i think that might be a hyphenated word mm. so they you know they but isn't be a hyphenated word like a combination of two different words anyways H hacky sack yeah sack is a word yeah sack is a sack <laughs> is a word own, Sab. you're absolutely sack is its own word hack is its own word yeah if you put a y there i think you need a dash to connect the two mm -hmm. right so um but anyway so there it's hacky comedy it's a little bit um silly but i think a lot of people think that i just think of the first thing that comes to my mind and just spew it and i think that's what you did with that grass joke yeah i was out having to smoke and i was like what's like why are like people spend so much time cutting grass you know what i mean it's just yeah. so so it's such a silly thing to me it's like mind baffling that we just all have these little patches of grass yeah. that, that we just keep short all the time and it's just a thing and no one talks about it <laughs> no one talks about this crazy <laughs> thing we're all doing so your joke, your snackable comedy bite, you thought you'd do this uh, quick bite, and it was, why do we keep cutting grass? Because it keeps growing back. Doesn't it know that it want, we want it to be short? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not bad. Um, but I said it, I tried to say it like you. I did a fail attempt, but no, I didn't say it so serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. know that we want it to be short? And then you came up with an even better joke. Well, then I the thought comments. that the joke, and I might do this, but I thought that the joke should be, you know, um, what's the deal? <laughs> what's the deal with blades of um, with grass? It, we keep cutting it, and it keeps growing back. Doesn't it know we want it to be short? And why are we calling this grass blades? I mean, the grass is a blade. And the lawnmower has blades. I mean, what is a lawnmower going on guard, grass? Because <laughs> that's a sword fight that that grass ain't going to win. Yes, I got to see a live comedy bite happen, the creation form. It was amazing. Yeah, and I, think, I think there's, uh, for some reason I wrote down, uh, there's a, a lawnmower has a trick up its sleeve, but I don't know what that was to reference. But I, I, because I, I was trying to build on your uh, snackable comedy bite, but 
I don't, now that I've said it here, I don't think I'm going to use it. <laughs> yeah, you might as well not. More people are going to watch this to watch your stack of what comedy bites anyways. I'm hanging up. <laughs> no! I get some pretty good views on that Instagram, okay? Yeah. Slash Facebook, so. TikTok. But what's your TikTok? Is also Joel Van Vliet on TikTok as well? Well, snackable comedy bites are on TikTok. I put most of my stuff there, but I have also yes, I have a TikTok that's Joel Van Vliet. And you know, Sab, I did this thing that was very important to me, and it meant a lot. And I wanted it to go viral, and it didn't go viral. And it made me really angry. You need to work on your marketing, bro. Have me market your shit for you. you know, this is- <laughs> It was man plants. Do you remember you saw man plants? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Didn't you post that like a while ago, like a month ago or something, a couple of weeks ago? Well, it's been a little bit. Yeah, it's been a bit. But like that was good. should have been, that should have gone viral. But. I know, man. All your shit is actually like fucking so good. And it's, I like that you did like the two different TikToks because you have like snackable comedy bites all the time. And then every once in a while you'll post on your regular one and it's just like, more like you, but still hilarious and like yeah, some like sort of crazy idea, thing. Yeah, it's not a snackable comedy, but sometimes it's legitimate, it's mm-hmm. just really funny comedy. <laughs> um, so, uh, what have you been doing through COVID time? What do we talk about? Hey, uh, what's the theme of this co- podcast? Oh, well, like sometimes, like some people yeah, don't. Wait, it's not a podcast. Well, it's just like two people. T- I didn't know what else to call it. What it's else do you call YouTube, it? You, like a YouTube video, but like you're not on any of the podcast platforms. Yeah, I should get on the podcast platforms probably though. Yeah, then then it's a podcast. But like yeah. at this point, it's like a video series of interviews. Yeah, I guess, but it's not really necessarily an interview. Like most people, like like you, I, I'll just you're let go wild and talk about whatever you know what i mean i'm not like asking you bam bam question question like, you well, could ask me shit let's too. make it an interview ask me a question all right uh what are your thoughts on ghosts do you believe in ghosts i don't believe in ghosts uh sab i think that uh, the whole idea of this ghost stuff is a little bit silly um but have you had zachary shade on your uh i've yes i've had lots of people like 90 percent of people believe in ghosts apparently which is well, Zach Shade has yeah, interacted had... with ghosts in the past. So he's been what? He's interacted with ghosts. Yeah, I, th- I think we did talk about that. It was it was pretty crazy. We I like a lot of people have apparently done. Do you believe in ghosts? Chris- no, like and it, well, I'm leaning more like towards maybe it is possible just because so many people are like a hundred percent like I believe in ghosts. It's definitely real. So you're saying that if you. Uh, meet enough people that believe something you might believe it yeah i guess so if you, so if you started attending church most of the people you interacted with were church people you would eventually True. Believe, i guess god does exist yeah probably i don't know yeah i guess that's a good point holy shit yeah fuck very, maybe yeah, i'm just a sheep bro i'm just another sheeple damn, damn. You're, you're you're a uh you're highly influenceable. What's the word though? There's a word there. A pushover. Or yeah, you're a pushover. <laughs> or highly uh, influenceable. That's a good word. I don't know these these uh, ghosts. Eh? Yeah, I don't think I would uh, subscribe to the idea of ghosts. Um, I just don't see how that. Like, is it that all human beings exist and we're new? Like my. Per, the, my personhood who i am is new when i'm born like that's a new person then if i die i exist forever like is that the idea of a ghost and i either exist forever on this plane or maybe i can exist in another plane once like i am like once whatever ha- ghosts i think they typically say they stick around because there's unfinished business so once that mm-hmm. business is finished then i can go off into another existence another plane or do i then disappear forever and become nothing and if i go to another plane that there's just more and more and more people all the time and then there would be arguably like who finishes their business while on earth so there's going to be like millions <laughs> and billions and billions of ghosts which only once in a while interact with human beings at some times and we they sort of see that's impossible if there were so many ghosts that still existed, 
these ghosts, we would constantly be interacting with them. We'd be like, oh, right. there's a fucking load of ghosts down the street. And, you, know, <laughs> you know, like every house would have like, it, it wouldn't be like, there's a ghost in this house. I feel a spirit. It'd be like, there are 6 million ghosts. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like maybe not 6 million, but there'd be like hundreds. Per right, right. Ghost. There's just too many people, too many ghosts. And you can't tell me that like only one person of all the people that have existed for, you know, all these thousands of years or millions of years, if you want, um, have unfinished business. And so there's only one yeah. per town, this one ghostly house. That's impossible. And what makes people so special? Why aren't there like a, a squirrel ghost that like it's unfinished business? It doesn't remember where it put its nuts and it's just that, and that's all squirrel squirrels. ghosts <laughs> yeah. that's all squirrels apparently squirrels like eight, don't can't remember where 60 percent of their nuts are or whatever i think it's that. even more than that yeah they just bury them all over the place <laughs> yeah so these squirrels and they're constantly dying of starvation or hit by cars <laughs> and they're of course they'd have unfinished business so then yeah. if you don't believe in ghost squir squir squirrels then you're going only human beings have a soul mm -hmm. okay and that's a that's an idea, but that's a very I think that's a religious idea. So these ghosts, these people that believe in ghosts, I don't think they've got it all. Like they, I don't think they've really figured it out entirely. It doesn't really make sense. All the details, yeah. It's like yeah. they never have. Is they never go into this much depth with it. Um, They're like, oh, I'd like there to be ghosts. So I'm gonna imagine there's a ghost in this town nearby. You're an idiot. I guess ninety percent of people that come on my podcast are all idiots. They are. They, no, Sab. I've been looking at the people that you've, I go, idiot, idiot, idiot. Why do you have some idiots on his podcast? Uh, have you, have you I hope they watch on? this and they all hate you. What? Have you had Mitch on? Yeah, his episode hasn't come out yet, but yeah, Do you I have. Even ghosts? No, I don't. Or maybe he does. I forget. I've I've talked to so many people. I've I've talked to like. A lot of people, but Mitch was really good. He was like, uh, we like very intelligent conversations like this. I think, yeah, yeah, at least one sided intelligent. I'm like, <laughs> you're just sitting there cackling, man. Uh, do you think, do you feel lucky, uh, to be a human? You know, you could have been an ant, you could have been like your well, soul could have been in something else. I mean, yeah, that's know. a huge could have been. I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I'll follow down the line of thinking that I could have been a slug. Right. Well, like, don't you think all like, like, hey, okay, like, don't you think it's like everything like must have like whatever it is that makes me like have a like, you know, so you, everything no, that's you're, alive. You're saying that your soul um, could have been put into any life form. Right, it's like I could have been seeing like behind someone else's eyes had something else as a br like brain. I'm like obviously my whole personality would be different. Like I wouldn't be me anymore. But so like you, if if I was like born as that and grew up as that, like I would have be, been that. You know what I mean? And I just feel lucky that I get to be on this ride as a human where I get the choice to be bored and it's like I'm not just constantly looking for food and trying so you, to avoid predators or whatever. By the way, do you think that you could um have been um sorry i forgot my uh question <laughs> <laughs> no i was gonna say um do you think that you, souls and you know like who you are is recycled so like once you die you could come back do you think believe in reincarnation essentially i don't know what like I, i'm just kind of like down with whatever happens it's like anything's possible like people fucking get mad at me i quote socrates but like true knowledge is knowing you know nothing or whatever mm -hmm. right Okay, but so, let me ask you this then, follow-up question. Um, are you, you said you're so lucky, you feel so lucky to be born and exist as a human being and not like a bot fly or something like that. Yeah, exactly. But do you think you'd feel more lucky if you were, if you existed as me instead of you? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what your life has been like. Maybe you have some crazy trauma that you don't bring up, or maybe you've just had an awesome, great life. But my life has been pretty dope, actually. Maybe, Kay, okay, maybe I would I'd rather be you. I don't know. You got all this cool stuff. Think about, how, <laughs> think about how talented I am, how smart I am, 
Like the yeah. amount, like you can't sing. I can't. Well, I guess you, you do have way drink. more self control than me. Like you don't drink, you don't smoke, right? I'm just I'm constantly. A, I live a healthier life. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I uh, I have more light in. Well, you have light there, I guess. Do you have more light in my house than you? I don't know, but it, you have your own house. I don't have my own I house. I live house. with my parents, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So, like, do you? Would you? If you could, would you be me? Um. Like, I know you don't that's want. That's a good to be point. Girl. That's actually a really good point. I don't know, cause like, obviously, I, I don't know. I kind of like being me. Like, I feel like it could be better. Like, I get what you're saying. I could be. It could always be better. Like, I'm like taller. it could always be worse. Sab, I'm taller. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true, true. Now you, this is the thing, you, <laughs> well, you can barely grow better facial hair than me. I was going to say you can grow a beard, but it's not even true. But here's a good, here's a good, you're a lot, you're, I think you're a bit younger than me. I'm 29, bro. Yeah, so you're, you're younger than me. So now that's part, because like, I would almost like to be you so that I could be younger. Like right, but like, age is like if if you could, I could die next year, and you could live till you're a hundred or even longer, right? You probably will with your habits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's unpredictable. Um, you know, and I I feel like I would only want to be someone like if I could see somebody who's like in poverty right now, like let's say some third world country, mm-hmm. this person's starving every day, but they're like 21. 18 they're 18 and if i if they were like joel would you like to trade your life with that person's life i would say yes only if i can keep if only i can know what i know from my life because then i would you know take advantage i'd be like okay i'm 18 years old but if i can just get to canada you know you wouldn't be able to get to canada though bro you're starving (laughs) <laughs> you gotta like get some food first of all first of all i'd have i'd have my knowledge so i'd be able to yeah but you'd still be starving if we took you right now and we starved you the the first thing you're gonna think is all like how do i get to canada you're gonna be like how do i get some food I'm already right? in Canada, yeah no but i would know sab i would know one how to speak english suddenly so i would open all the doors two <laughs> Two, I would know how to do these scams that these people do. So I'd be like, hey, <laughs> let me scam some old people out of their money by pre- pretending I'm the... You have to get a hold of a computer first, so how are you even going to get a computer there's, there's systems and internet? In places. I'd go like, hey, who's doing scams in America? You know? <laughs> and then I'd, I'd apply for those jobs, I'd get them, and then I'd, like, <clears throat> I'd be able to do that with my intelligence sab like but you never really answer me so like do you feel lucky that you're not like something else or well this is the thing if you're it depends on i guess the other thing right but if if i was a slug the amount of like self-awareness i'd have would be so little Mm -hmm. that it wouldn't matter you know what i mean like if as you're as an ant you're just like duty 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 like you're just Actually, that's a fly. They're looking for duty. But an ant, they're, they're performing their duties. Right. And then, and then that's all they do. So it's like you can't, you're not going to sit there going, boy, I wish I could nap. You know, so would they I, even have like, do you think that they have like a soul or something like, uh, like a human does? Or do you even think a human that has a soul even? Or I, I think humans have souls. I'm not convinced that other animals definitely not insects but then like people would argue with you like they're like my dog definitely has personality or like even like monkeys are really close to humans so like would a monkey have have a soul but like i guess what makes humans so special we're just animals like everything else aren't we (laughs) like we're the only creatures on the face of the planet that asks themselves who are we not all of us do though some people are pretty dumb and never asked that their whole life (laughs) it's probably you probably less people than you think most people are really slow most people will like at some point go like what is this what is this human experience and and there are like and then more in, in academia they're studying this like what is it like what are we doing who are we 
Like, what is animals this? could be having that feeling too, though. How do you know they're not, bro? Well, what they get that feeling? Yeah, they you, just don't have like mean, the means you yet. What, you know that they're not doing that because they always do the same thing forever. No, they don't. They do fucked up shit, bro. They do tons of fucked up shit. Who? Ants? Maybe not ants, but like even ants. Ants are pretty crazy. But if you you can look up like videos of like animals like risking their own lives to like save other animals, even and shit, like just like weird, crazy shit like that happening that you wouldn't expect. Okay, well maybe they are all sitting there, you know, studying the you know orangutan existence. I don't think so, <laughs> but you think that they'd write some sort of books or tablets like they don't there's no you gotta give them more time bro if we give them like another million years or something there'll be other animals that'll evolve to the stage we're at but we'll be like that's a big that's ahead. a big that's a big question mark we don't know that to be true but um <laughs> if uh that's a good point I would like to see, you, you don't even see like you you get like apes hanging out with each other breastfeeding and then like like you know you don't see them going like Like, yeah, not yet, not yet, but they're starting to use tools yeah, and like stuff. Word of mouth, you know. They're oh, did you notice they're building? They know sign language now. <laughs> that's bear. That's contested, but they, they, you know, they know sign language the way a dog knows to beg. They don't. It's not like they're. Like, no, like, they know sign language. They give it like because we could like talk to them through sign language, bro. I, I watched a documentary about it, and it uh. wasn't that they really understood what they were doing they were it's kind of that still response sort of thing mm. they're not volunteering like yeah i'm feeling really good they're just like can i have a banana because <laughs> i know Isn't that, that what you good. just say when you ask shit anyways <laughs> you know you're always trying to get i'm not asking you if i can it. have a banana i'm asking you if you'd rather be me i mean that's a huge question that <laughs> no ape would ever ask so if i get to be you do i get to keep like all my knowledge and stuff like of my life yeah, is it like you with the third right. world country thing? Because yeah. like, if I become you, then I'm just you. Like, you know what I mean? It's like that's pointless. But if well, I can keep all my shit that's and have your shit, that'd be pretty dope. Shit, what, if, what shit of yours do you think you need to keep? I don't know. I I could like play the ukulele pretty good sometimes. I play the ukulele. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Shit, bro, you're actually being pretty convincing. <laughs> you know how to play an A seventh on ukulele? Mm. True. Do you know how to play a B flat on ukulele? I don't know any of these things. <laughs> so wait, what are you talking about? You have a pizza. Experiences that have like been fun and shit in my life. Like what? <laughs> You don't know. I might have had a fun experience once that would be worth you being me and giving up your other experiences. Okay, for this scenario, like in the third world country one, it was different. For this scenario, you have to give up your whole, you have to imagine that you were born me. Right, right. If you aren't satisfied mm -hmm. with that, then be you. Yeah, I think being you probably would be better, to be honest. Till now, till now. But maybe I'll step my game up and I'll get rich, and then we'll see. In a couple years, we'll have to ask this question again. <laughs> mm, that would be frustrating. But right now, you're definitely killing it compared to what I'm doing in life. <laughs> but then again, of course, I've had a few more years to... Yeah, but when you were my age, you were still killing it a lot more than I am. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think I, when I was your age, I think I did have my own house already, I guess. But... See, exactly. All right, let's talk about something else. Uh, what, are your <laughs> what are your thoughts on aliens, bro? Look at my beautiful eyes. My They're beautiful, pretty beautiful. Eyes. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about aliens either. Like, I, 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 it is crazy to imagine that, the, that our Earth is the only Earth with um, intelligent life, as they say. <laughs> if it is even intelligent, am I right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but, um, at the same time, like, you know, maybe it is, who knows? So it's really, I don't know, I don't know enough about it, but true, true. Good but I did watch that, uh, that documentary on Netflix. Do you remember that one where the guy worked at Area 51 and all that? Well, it was pretty compelling. Yeah. 
I didn't watch that. To make you think that maybe there is something going on there. But the thing is that, like, if, you know, things that we know to be true are, like, so obvious. Like, they're so true, you know? Like, you don't, you don't have to be, like, it, like, do some people die from anaphylactic shock when they eat peanut butter? That, that's just a theory, you know? Like, those are things we know to be true. Like, it's obvious. Right. Even if I've never experienced it, we know. Like, this happens. As a society or whatever, yeah. Yeah, it happened. It, there's many people that are allergic to peanut butter. They have to bring that pen around, you know? I'm sure there's some people out there that would say it's just a giant conspiracy, though, anyways. I guess there are some people like that. But like aliens and like area 51 and all these stories they're always like it's like little threads that mm-hmm. you know we have to try to because they're trying to hide it it's like we're not efficient one thing you learn about people we're not smart and we're not efficient so you you're you're not good at like we can't keep things secrets mm-hmm. like things would come out and we're not good at being like keeping things organized and well content. Like we're just not. So like, of course, if things, if there were aliens, like this would be common knowledge, you know, if there was a cure for cancer, Sab, we would all, we would be aware. Some people believe there's a cure for cancer and they're keeping. No, a lot of people believe that. Yeah. That can't be true mm-hmm. because we would know. Because it's just like the scientists that solved the cancer thing would know someone that needs the cure. And you think they're like, well, let's just, we have to keep it a secret because of big pharma, because they have to sell more chemo. So I'll let watch this person die for money. Would you get uh, the Neuralink put in your head? What is that? I haven't heard about that. So it's uh, this thing Elon Musk is working on. Uh, and it's like you take out like a piece of the skull and then just put like a computer chip in there and then fucking it can like solve all these problems right it's like if you're completely paraplegic it can like make you walk and use all your limbs and shit because it's like whatever like parts of your brain isn't working properly it can like fire the electrons and make it work properly or whatever well i don't feel like i need it but if i couldn't walk then I probably would want that. That's just like the first step though. Eventually it'll get like crazier and crazier where it's like, you know what I mean? Would you get, would you like interface with technology? Uh, you know, the more, the more I ex- like, uh, the more this whole COVID thing is going on and you like hear other conspiracy theories and ideas surrounding like a digital identity for everyone and, those type of things, the more I hear about that, the less I want to be connected. And I know, like, I love social media, mm-hmm. um, but I want to choose to connect and disconnect. I don't want it anywhere on my, you know, analog form. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to exist outside of that world and not be, like, have, I would, I would, I want the opportunity to be able to disappear not that I will ever disappear, but you know what I mean? Like you want it. Mm-hmm. I want to just have to... freedom. Yeah. And like, there's always fear, at least for me of like, could that be hacked? You know what I mean? It's more of a control thing. Like the government wants to be able to police so much. And I don't want to be subjected to that level of bureaucracy because it's such a, it's, an, it's insane. Like, and I, as I said about efficiency, like people suck, they're not smart, they're garbage. And to leave your autonomy in the hands of a bunch of people that elected or not or hired or whatever that are going to be kind of probably not that great at their jobs all the time and sometimes have ideas you don't agree with or ideas that are just bad ideas because they're, they're not brilliant. Like not everyone is brilliant. Like you, you, these people mm-hmm. aren't like all the smart. And even when you get someone that's like the most brilliant person, they can just have like one little mental block or one little, like not understand one little area of existence and totally get something wrong. Like, you know how often like you try to do something good. It's just like, Oh, if I was like, I'm going to make sad feel good. He's feeling down. So I bring you peanut butter cookies, but you're allergic. So it kills you. 
you know, like I didn't do something necessarily wrong, but I, I was too ignorant and not necessarily stupid, but I was missing a piece of information and it killed you. So it's those types of things where that happens all the time because we're flawed people. So I don't want my humanity and my, and it's not even about liberty or freedom and all that stuff. I don't want to be interacted with by a bunch of people in a bureaucracy that will screw, they'll probably screw it up because they're just right. thinking differently. And just even if they're smart, just because you're smart doesn't mean you're necessarily looking forward uh, for everyone else's best interest. You know, they could still that's be selfish. So, so yeah. Just want money, have, right? So that's, that's with like um, me being like generous to these people being, uh, oh, uh, yeah, in good faith, they are going to try to do good. But you're right. Then there's a bunch of other people that are just doing bad and they want control and they want money and they want to, you know, and that's a whole other thing that is true as well. So, no, I don't, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great, man. Is there anything you want to ask me? Anything else? I'm not that interested in your life. Um, uh so hey you know what you should do you should do uh, a tiktok which is the quitting smoking challenge because i feel like it's time for you to quit smoking mm -hmm. and this is going to make your life better so maybe are you looking for the disconnect you don't like <laughs> no i'm looking for my cigarettes i can't smoke inside but i was just wondering how many i had left because i was okay so go on with your idea so so you should do a journey on tiktok where you quit smoking Mm -hmm. And you do a series of videos where it's like this quit smoking challenge. And maybe you can like say, okay, we're going to quit smoking together with other people. And maybe you with can all the little with kids them. on TikTok that are yeah, quitting smoking. <laughs> are fucking... I've got to quit smoking. That, that's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to quit smoking. His voice is cracking. But you... Is it from um, the too much smoking or is he hitting puberty? We don't know. <laughs> we don't even know. His voice is going to go from this. How's it going to? What's up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's do a quit smoking challenge. And I don't know what, like, how, maybe you just can read how people quit smoking different uh, tricks. And then you mm -hmm. can do those tricks and then uh, quit smoking. Do you think you'd do that, Seb? Hey, man, that that's... I really appreciate that you, that you want me to quit smoking. I've never had someone try to, like, get me to quit smoking before, you know? Never? No one's ever told you to quit smoking? Well, maybe they said, like, you shouldn't smoke it, maybe, a couple times, something like that. But no one was like, you need to quit. It's like, kind of, you're, like, devising a plan out for me. Like, nothing like that's ever happened, well, you it's know? Gotta, you know, it's got to happen, because you can't smoke the rest of your life. It's just, that's horrible, right? Yeah. So you got to quit. And you're at, you're, you're... I think you're at a point in your life where you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to grow. I think quitting smoking would be a, this would be a great time for you to do that. Also, mm -hmm. it makes good content. You got, you got to be right in my heart. You're like, make fucking content about quitting smoking. I'm like, ah, he's right. That might make good content. <laughs> if you really dedicate yourself to it and it's, and it, it might be a struggle and you, you like, um, talk about it and you like make videos about it and I think that you could even be funny with it where you you google different um, ways people quit smoking and you can just like make those comedic and try so, every like, single way yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Saying, yeah, yeah. You really give it a go because I mean really you know we're in a weird time where you're home all the time like does that make it easier or more difficult I don't know but like just I, I would I would say take advantage of that um what is another uh there's another thing that i there's a book out there i should tell i should try to find out what it is but it's this idea that like you kind of have to convince yourself like because you don't need cigarettes and it's it's kind of a mental game i should i gotta figure it out somebody told me it is so that. stupid and idiotic to smoke them in a way right it's like so obviously because like there, it's like saying, like, literally says on the pack, this is going to kill you. And you're like, all right. <laughs> like, talking about how many people smoke cigarettes and, like, how stupid Yeah, but I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what's it doing for you? I kind of enjoy it. 
But like, why do you even enjoy it? It's like, I like my throat hurts a little bit, you know? I inhale this <laughs> hot fucking air. The thing that I would, it, winter would, I would quit every time. Like, I have to go outside and be cold just to like, I don't even, like, why am I doing that? Like, it's such yeah. a waste time it feels i'll like. do it and i'll like smoke half a cigarette all cold and shit and then like i'll put it out because i'm too cold and i'll come back in it's like, it's like it's such a crazy obviously you're chemically uh you know your body wants it mm-hmm. you gotta be like body no i think apparently like that goes away like after like a week or something i don't know how That's long I, I, i've heard that too but well, it, yeah it doesn't last too long like, I think it's yeah. one of those ups and downs thing, but uh, it, it's certainly a mental game where you have to be like, and then right. you'll, I think you'll, you'll, you'll maybe get past it. I don't know anything. It, about I think it. it's partly chemically, most mentally. Cause like tons yes. of people are addicted to like gambling, right? And gambling isn't even like a thing you can touch, you know, it's like just a you concept. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you can still get hardcore addicted to that. So my theory is if you can get addicted to gambling, you can get addicted to anything. You can get addicted okay. to eating leaves even, you know? You know, I had this feeling. This is a, a, I've told people this story before. I lived in British Columbia for a short time. And I was kind of, I guess there was a bit of homesickness at the time. But for some reason, while I was there, an ice cold Coca-Cola from the fridge in a can. Like bottles, not so much, but in a can just made me feel amazing like it was just like (laughs) (laughs) and i noticed this thing it's wild but it was just like if i was feeling like a little anxious or a little weird like like sad or something i go up get a coke crack it and just drink that and i just like even though it's cold like it would be like a warm sort of like satisfied like oh yeah and I could feel myself becoming reliant on Coca-Cola, which is, I'm not the first person to be addicted to Coke. Yeah, I've had the same thing happen, the, the drink, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coca-Cola, yeah. Okay, well, you're people like it. Diet Coke, Coke, like there are people that are addicted to this stuff. And it's that, it's that like, for some reason, it just like satisfies. And it's not a, even a thirsty thing. It's just like an emotional thing. And I don't know what it was. I got over it. I don't, I don't remember like, fighting it or anything but like eventually I, I went back home and whatever but i i think that there yeah that emotional or mental sort of like something's happening with that cigarette that makes you feel better right right and it does like activate your brain like a very like small amount or whatever is i forget what it is joe rogan was talking about it and it's like i do get some good ideas when i'm out like having a cigarette that's, that's like that's I was smoking when I did the TikTok grass video that you love so much. Oh, that's a good idea. So <laughs> you're, sure. you're a little bit it's twisted. You don't know what you're talking about. But, but this is the other thing is like, and I I feel like I like to be living proof of that. Where people drugs like oh we took mushrooms open our minds, uh, drinking uh, drinking probably not as much, but you say cigarettes or weed. People think drinking those, is bad you know, too. Drinking's bad. Don't say it's not as much. They're all bad. Yeah. But they, what they, they're supposed to sometimes open you up or, or lower your inhibition so that you can be more creative and they kind of allow for that. I've never done any of that stuff and I'm more creative than a lot of people I know. And I have Most people, of- you're, yeah, you're like, I can't even think of like who is crazier with this shit than you are. So yeah. I'm living proof that you don't need any other thing. You just need to like be a little bit focused on, and think. You just have to sit there and go, hmm, let me think of an idea and then like, think of it and then like <laughs> and then, you know and they're not all going to be great ideas but they're ideas so you know uh but anyway you quit smoking on tiktok so are you going to do that i think i might try it when this episode comes out so in like a week okay so how many cigarettes are, can you stretch that one pack out you have till for a week no and buy one more pack yeah one more pack so <laughs> all right let's do it i'll try we'll commit to one more pack after this pack and then this episode comes out and then what are we gonna we're gonna try to never buy another pack of cigarettes yeah 
Sounds good. And then I'll save money too, right? Because usually I buy like a pack every like two days. What? So that's like seven dollars a day on cigarettes. Where's your? Did your mom smoke? Yeah. Mm. We have to get her on board with this. <laughs> I, I could get... quit without her, but. Well, okay, but it'd be funner, especially if you want to do it on TikTok. I think it'd be funner if you could get your mom in, mm -hmm. and you guys could yell at each other about. But the only the only way to make good content out of it is to actually try like all the stupid ways to quit. Like me just sitting there doing other stuff isn't like, you know, not smoking isn't content. Like, yeah. <laughs> you just smoke yourself sitting around. Look at me not smoking. But do it <laughs> do it as challenges, right? So it's like you get these. You go, I'm quitting smoking, and this is my quitting smoking challenge. I'm I'm not gonna smoke. I'm not gonna buy another pack of cigarettes. And then you can like have those struggles where when you want to have a cigarette make a TikTok about it. Mm -hmm. So you're just like, I gotta go get, you know, like, I gotta go to the store and get a cigarette, you know, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then you, and then like, you could like make a video and then edit it down to the, you know, minute. But you can make a video where you like go, like, cause you can't, you, I feel like you're gonna be compelled where you want to go buy a cigarette or, and you gotta tell your mom, no, you don't let you bum a cigarette. Cause that's, yeah, it's going to be hard because, like, when I really want a cigarette and I don't have any, like, I even made a TikTok about this. It's like I'll literally go through the ashtray and find, like, a cigarette my mom hasn't well, smoked. Oh, yeah. On. And by the way, by the way, Seb, watch that and go, this is a, this sounds like a homeless person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so bad. That's but that's sad. why I put it out there because I was like, I wanted to tell people, like, don't start smoking. This yeah. is what you might come like come to and then like a bunch of my friends and shit that smoke cigarettes are like yeah i'd do that and they're like oh good fuck i was kind of laughing but i was also crying because i was just <laughs> like you were like oh this is a good one i'm like i've seen homeless people do this yeah yeah Off the street, and i'm like that's where you're going mm -hmm. you gotta quit and you'll be so much better for it so you gotta you gotta like tell your mom this is what we're doing i'm quitting you should quit too but we have to like support you got to support me in this throw those butts in a what a jar of water like in one of these coffee tins with water in it the rain water so it's oh like yeah we could do that shit yeah damn yeah then i'm yeah. out there like jirai and butts i'm like a fucking <laughs> what do they call these little um you know, I'm sorry. Close fits and shit, yeah, whatever. Yeah, close fits on a clothesline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I if I give it like ten hours, it's summertime, you know. Yeah, yeah. If I leave these out all day. I'll have some cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, but people are that addicted. It's crazy. Like, cigarettes are a trip, man. Because if you think about like what you're actually doing, like just inhaling smoke, it's so like unnatural. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and I find that it's such a funny uh, thing you hear from weed smokers. They're like, oh, it's, it's a herb, man. It's just, it's natural. And I'm like, it'd be a lot more natural to smoke weed if the thing rolled itself into a, you know, joint and lit itself on fire, you know? But that doesn't happen. That'd be magical, yeah. Yeah, there's no, like... <laughs> no animals are out there, like, inhaling smoke besides humans. It's so weird that, like, you know... We're the only ones that are like, hey, what are, what are all the self-destructive things that we could possibly do? <laughs> yeah, let's try to destroy ourselves. Like, Everything I'm else is just trying to survive. <laughs> yeah, like, let's, we're just going to eat this good stuff. Let's not eat all this garbage. We, we won't eat that, you know? And then people are like, okay, potatoes. Those are pretty good for you. But what if we deep fried them and added a lot of salt? You know? <laughs> can we make these unhealthy somehow? You know, can we do, can we make everything good, bad for us now? Like, how is that the best? Why don't you just eat some raw vegetables? Mm, that's not so good, you know? <laughs> yeah. Man, I heard that chips are like the worst thing for you to eat. I don't know if that's just like a wives tale, but I heard like chips are like super bad for you. And like you said, like potatoes are fucking good for you. They're fine. They're a natural occurring thing, but you make them into some of the most unhealthy snacks, you know? So yeah, let's uh, work on that, Sab. That's my wish for you. Thanks, um, buddy. And uh, should we announce that we're doing our, a mutual TikTok thing and then it'll force us to do it?
Yeah, it's announced now that you announced it. All right. So Sav and I, we don't know what it's called yet. We'll just link it when you post this. How do we do that? Like, don't you need like a phone to TikTok? Are we going to buy a new phone that we share and have like... No, you can plug into multiple accounts. Okay. You can set up multiple accounts. Oh, you can set it up like that way. There's already other people that kind of have joint accounts is what you're saying. Well, no, I'm saying like... um, I it's a it's it's a you can sign up with an email address. Oh right right. So I'll, I can sign up, make an account, and then I'll send you the email address and password, and you just log in. Oh okay cool I get it right right. You both use it. Mm-hmm. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's that simple. It's just that simple stuff. Is that all you want to tell it, that we're just doing it, or like you want to give them any anything we're, else? We're, we're going to, Sab and I uh, miss each other uh, a lot, and we don't have a lot of time uh, every day. Sab does, but I'm busier than him. And so we don't have a lot of time to um, interact like this, like on a Zoom meeting or in any other form of communication, Facebook messaging. Like, so what we've decided is the best way to keep uh, in touch with each other would be to TikTok each other through the same account. So uh, we're gonna start an account, tiktok.com slash whatever it is and (laughs) and uh we will be uh interacting and uh creating uh videos for each other to each other 15 seconds 30 seconds or 60 seconds long (laughs) this is gonna be great bro i'm so excited (laughs) so check check that out the link will be in the description of this video right sad yeah for sure someone told me today that i gotta start doing that because uh yeah, shout out to Kenya. Um, I'm, like, she's been, like, support one of those people that's just, like, supported me, like, since, like, the beginning. And I don't even know her in real life. Uh, I'm going to get her on the podcast at some point. But, uh, yeah, she told me, like, she wanted to check someone out. I forget who it was. And she's like, you should really have their links in the description. And I'm like, yeah, I should. Mm. Yeah, that's important, actually. If you don't put my links in the description on this video, I will never talk to you again. That would, and that's on TikTok, TikTok or off TikTok. So if you want okay, to, I'll make sure I do it. It's on the record. I'll I'm start just sending you free cigarettes so that you kill yourself smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I now I that. want to, dude. You know, I love free shit. That's how I started don't, smoking, bro. Don't that's sad. how. Put the links in there. Okay, I will. I will. But listen, if you don't, you're gonna die. Ah, <laughs> uh, but uh. <laughs> So the whole reason I started smoking is because, like, I was in college, right? And uh, a friend of mine would just go up and, like, bum cigarettes off people all the time. Because, like, I was, like, I went to, like, college for, like, grade 12 of high school, kind of. Like, I had, like, two college classes. So it was weird. So, like, it was, like, a bunch – like, we were just, like, high school kids hanging out at a college. So it's, like, we didn't know anybody else there because they were all college kids. So, like – my buddy would just go bump and we like had all these interesting smokes. And like, I remember this like blacks they're called. It's like this huge black cigarette. It's like smoking straight death. We smoked one of those ones. It was crazy. <laughs> so I just realized you can get free. Like, you can get smokes for free. You could just ask, Hey man, can I bum a smoke this off you? And you'll bad, get it. This is a bad PSA. <laughs> yeah. But why are smokers so nice? Why do they always give away smokes? Like, I feel like seventy-five percent of people. They're like, I love smoking, and I want to feel better about my smoking habit, so I'm gonna get this kid into smoking. They're bad people. Well, no, they think you already smoke. If you go and be like, "Hey, man, can I bomb a smoke off you?" They think you're already a smoker, and you just like don't have a pack. A but in the reality, friend- I was never buying packs until like a couple years ago. My, a friend of mine always had this uh, joke, which was, uh, and this is a, a, a woman that I knew that wasn't a comedian in any way, but she would always like, she had her own little bits that she had come up with. And one of them was when people ask you for an extra smoke, she's like, what's an extra smoke? Like, do you think I have like three smokes in my pack that I was never, I'm never going to touch? Like, these are my <laughs> yeah. like, do you have an extra smoke? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to smoke this one. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh. That make any sense. Um, that's true. Like, pretty good, pretty good comedy for someone that's not a comedian. Yeah, that's um, funny. That's funny. I like it. But yeah, so well, we're we're gonna free smokes or no free smokes. You're quitting. That's good. I'm happy about that. And thanks, uh, buddy. 
and then we're I'm happy for you pushing me and, and doing this and trying to get me quit. I hope it works. I hope I, I do quit and I don't. Fuck Sab, I also want, I, like when COVID's over, I want you to be able to come over, hang out. Uh, we can make TikTok videos together for our account, but um, I don't want to have to smell your dirty cigarette body. Like, I don't want to Does it smell that bad for real? You stink like cigarettes. You, you, you st- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. No, you don't smell that. No, but people do. Like they yeah. do smell of cigarettes. No, you're not a smelly guy necessarily. But like when you go and just have a cigarette, then you're gonna yeah. smell. Cigarette. But that's not the reason. The reason is because I care about you, and I think it's about time for you to quit smoking. And I think it'd be good to do it as a uh, with like I think people could get behind. I would love to see like a people quitting cigarette thing together happening oh like a trend if i can make it start trending on tiktok that'd be amazing i doubt that's gonna happen but that'd be cool well um put it put the best effort it's kind of weird like when i was a kid like all my friends smoked and i didn't really smoke and now it's like i'm like i have a whole new group of friends now and most of them don't smoke and i'm like the only smoker i'm surprised that anyone still smokes Mm -hmm. like especially younger people like if you ever see anyone like you're pretty young as well but you get even younger than you and the people are smoking it's like what is wrong with you like, yeah post you malone heard? smokes he's so good to me who post malone what an idiot that guy but that guy's <laughs> like, he's a moron but like these people like what what is what is wrong with you like you have you not heard all the words that people have been saying about how bad these things are for you? no one likes them like you probably limited I sound like a no one likes them. Um, <laughs> like a snag little comedy, but what's the deal with smoking? Have yeah, you yeah. smoking these days. Um, two snag little comedy episodes in the episode. You know, if they lit their hair on fire, you'd go stop, put the fire out. But they're willing to smoke out of their face. I don't know, but um, <laughs> but you know, um. Yeah, the, why why would anyone um like wouldn't you aren't you aware that it's bad for you? Why mm-hmm. st- why start it when you're a kid? I don't get it these days. It doesn't make sense. It's like why like what like I understand things that are gonna do more for you, like like weed is gonna make you feel better, like feel good. Drinking Well that's the same way with smoking, right? And like drinking is like probably not as bad for you but still pretty bad for you well what i was gonna say is like cigarettes like there's enough people that don't smoke does don't you think it limits like um relationship possibilities or like some girls aren't gonna date a guy that smokes isn't that true yeah for sure but no one wants to date me smoking or not smoking so because shit <laughs> don't want to lower those odds though like if they're already <laughs> low and when going to the bar was like a thing like, I feel like going out for the cigarette was, like, the only time that I would actually talk to, like, strangers or whatever, you know what I mean? We're having a smoke together. In the bar, it's like the music's always way too loud. You're just sipping from your beer, your table with your, your friends or whatever. But when you go out for a smoke, that's, like, the only time that I would actually – so I did, like, smoking for that, too. But you know, now but- that COVID's happening, you know, what's the point? There was never a point, but, yes, I see. <laughs> you know, anyway – I think we've established you're quitting. That's good. So what what does that mean? So that means that like this is coming out in a week. So that's about a week. Out, about a week. So that's going to be around let's say the fifteenth or something like that. Fourteenth, fifteenth. So you're going to be cigarette free by probably. Um, I'm going to say you better not smoke another cigarette by June first. And hopefully those two weeks after the fifteenth, you won't smoke either but you're definitely done June 1st and maybe even got some of those cravings under control. Mm -hmm. I I like the idea of having like more self-control and stuff, you know, like I don't want to be like just a creature of my emotions. Like you want to have a cigarette, you go have a cigarette because it's like, or you, you know, you're hungry, you go eat, you're tired, you sleep, whatever. I want to like be, feel like I actually do have freedom of choice because there is like a, a theory that it's like, we don't really have choice at all right because basically like you're you're just like a product of your environment or your genes or whatever right it's like so like really if you knew had enough information you could predict anything that anyone would do 
Yeah. Well, yes, that's there may be some truth to that, but <clears throat> that can't be one hundred percent true. Like there, there must be variables. Um, also, people don't know enough, but yeah, do we have? Now, nah, I, I can't believe that to be true. Um, I guess there's a genetic makeup, but why? Why is it that some people? Uh, that's so hard to prove and disprove. Yeah, exactly. And like, if you go down that rabbit hole, you just start getting kind of like depressed. At least I did. So it's like I kind of just like the feeling of that I have free will, even if it's not real. You so it's like be being free. more self control and like maybe being able to quit smoking will like you know be like okay, I have control over my life. I'm not just a slave to my yeah. needs or whatever. Well, I would say that you shouldn't believe that that's true because it doesn't ring true to me. But um, but it would take far too long to go into all the like think uh, think that out right now mm -hmm. but um yes you are in control of your life sab you can you can choose to um better yourself and be whoever you want to be you you, mm -hmm. you have that power not only to make your life better but to make other people's lives better too like your life <laughs> Every day, you know how? You know how you do that? You put FYP on my TikTok videos. I do do that. <laughs> yeah. FY, you FYP me and you like my videos. Of course, bro. I support all, as much of your shit as I can. And I love that about you and, and I honor you and, um, and namaste for that. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. Um, I'll uh, be in touch. Uh, I'll send you. I'll figure out how to start this account, and we'll be uh, we'll be on it. All right, sick man, awesome. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go have a cigarette. Awesome podcast. Is there anything you want to end it on? Yet? All the talk about having a cigarette just makes me want. These last few cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll talk to you uh, later. And uh, thanks for having me on your. Uh, your show that you only have very few people on. <laughs> that you're you're so it's such a curated guest list. <laughs> you're a great guest, so you're fucking awesome. You're so special. If I could only have one guest, it would be you, buddy. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I'm not lying. You're hilarious. I've been dying this whole time. My fucking face hurts from laughing too much. Ugh. It's on the record. Plus, it's on the record. I said that. So now, if I only get one guess, I'm on the record saying it's you, buddy. And, and by the way, I think we learned a lot too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we grew closer as well. Yeah. We did. <laughs> All right, peace out, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.